Barbara here with your questions. Now remember, if you call or email me with a question that we can do in a future YouTube video, that would bless other people. So give us a call if you have a great question that you think we should answer. Don't hesitate. This one is for you gentlemen, and it's from Kyle in Virginia. Barbara, I'm increasingly anxious as I'm getting older. Could it be hormone imbalance? I know it is for women, but what about men? Yes, Kyle, your hormones can become imbalanced just like a woman. It's called andropause, and anxiety is one of the classic uh, results. Now, you all know the symptoms of anxiety. It's irrational or intense fear, muscle tension, jaw clenching, teeth grinding, insomnia, restlessness, nervousness. Some people get a choking sensation, get nauseous, sudden sweating. You know if you've been anxious what it feels like. Well, progesterone is an anti-anxiety agent. How is that? Well, progesterone is known as a neurosteroid because it's synthesized in the central nervous system and distinctly affects nerve function, mood, and calmness. Progesterone is known to increase the calming effect of GABA, which is a neurotransmitter in your brain. Progesterone activates GABA receptor sites, and it also suppresses brain excitatory response. So some people will put on their progesterone cream and report its effects in as little as 10 minutes. And I want that for you. Progesterone has been compared to benzodiazepine drugs, but without the risk of addiction. So Kyle, think progesterone. Now that's the hormone imbalance. And then there's something we call, what doctors say, it's all in your head, anxiety. Well, yes, it is all in your head. Because if your neurotransmitters are not balanced, your brain is more prone to increased excitability and a fearful uh, constant adrenaline and epinephrine uh, surge and decreased levels of the calming neurotransmitters. Do you know it can actually alter the circuitry of your brain? Why? The stress response never recedes, never rests. It keeps you in a chronic state of adrenaline fueled feelings and behavior. Something that feels like our mothers would call a nervous wreck. So progesterone, Kyle, that will help you. Other supplements, L-theanine. Now this is naturally occurring in green tea. So you can make yourself a nice pitcher of green tea and sip it all day long. I know it sounds a little girly, but who cares? It's gonna calm you down. And green tea is also anti-cancerous. 5-HTP increases the serotonin levels, which promotes a sense of calm focus. And B12 and folic acid. Melatonin, I love, 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 especially if you have insomnia, because most uh, anxious people will have some insomnia. And I love a product called Zen Mind, and here's what it looks like. It combines the GABA and the L-theanine together. And you could just take two in the morning. That's what I do. I love this product. But start with the progesterone and see how you do. And if you have the extra money, add the Zen Mind. I've done a separate YouTube video on anxiety. I've got a, a blog here for you about um, anxiety. So you can write to me or you can call me because I'm on your side. I've been anxious. Next question from Caitlin in Maryland. Barbara, I've always associated estrogen with pregnancy, but what, what role does progesterone play in pregnancy? Well, Caitlin, both hormones are important, but progesterone is crucial. Natural progesterone aids in conception. Fertility clinics use natural progesterone to give you a better chance at pregnancy. Good progesterone levels will help you maintain a healthy pregnancy. It keeps the uterine wall strong for the fertilized egg. If the egg is fertilized and the wall was not strong, you just have a period. And it could even be a miscarriage that you don't know you had. Progesterone levels in early pregnancy have a major role in maintaining that pregnancy. It's essential for the development of the fetus and prevention of any little uterine contractions 
that you wouldn't even feel that could cause premature labor and a miscarriage. Now, this is nothing new under the sun. Progesterone support in pregnancy has been around for over 60 years. The initial use was for people who had a habitual, spontaneous abortions caused by a luteal phase deficiency. But studies have shown a significant reduction in miscarriage and in preterm delivery rates. So that's for those of you who are worried about carrying to term. You need progesterone. Now, if you're using the cream and you get pregnant, you can just use it throughout your pregnancy if you want to because it makes you feel good and you like using it. But you could actually discontinue it by the third trimester because at that point, you're making 300 milligrams a day and you don't need your little extra money spent on progesterone. But I have written information that you can send to a loved one or you can have for yourself. I really worked hard on this. These are studies, studies, studies. So you could even take them to your doctor. You call me or email me if you have more questions. I'm here for you. This is Barbara wishing you better health naturally.